Hey guys, how are you doing today? I am bringing you my very first unhaul. Now, before I unhaul any of these books, if they are your favorite book or if you just can't believe that I'm going to be giving these to um, my used bookstore, it's just they have been on my shelves for probably years and I just haven't ever gotten around to reading them. A lot of them were probably just given to me because, hey, Courtney likes books and that happens a lot. So um, without further ado, let's get into this. I'm not necessarily going to know what every single one of these books are about, so this will probably be a pretty quick video. The first two books that I am going to be sending to my used bookstore is The Beloved Reflections on the Path of the Heart by Cahill. Gibran and the Storm Stories and Prose Poems. So I'm getting rid of those. Hey, get back. Another one that I am getting rid of is Liar, Temptress, Soldier, Spy, Four Women Undercover in the Civil War by Karen Abbott. Now, I love the idea of this book, um, but I'm not, I know that I'm a history teacher, but I don't read a lot of historical fiction. Um, I do like the idea that the main characters are female and they are, uh, based on true stories, but um, again, I don't see myself reading this one. Again, with the history theme, The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. Um, it's, this book just seems so big and um, again, historical fiction. Founding Myths, Stories That Hide Our Patriotic Past by Ray Raphael. I actually got this book for my uh, graduate degree in American Studies, and I actually used quite a few um, in here for some of my thesis. A beloved book I know, um, Eat, Pray, Love. My aunt told me to read this book during a hard time in my life. I read it. It was really good, but it's not a book that I'm going to reread anytime soon. Um... This one is The Witches, Salem, 1692. Again, it's a history book, um, historical fiction. I think that I saw this in Books A Million in one of their um, discounted sections, and I was like, that looks really, really good. But then I started reading the inside cover, and I just, I didn't feel like I wanted to really read um, something so sad, so. The Thirteen Hollows by Michael Scott and Colette Friedman. I've actually um, never heard of this book until somebody gave it to me, um, or I think I got it from, oh, I got it from the discount section at Books A Million, or somebody else did because that's a Books A Million tag. I used to work there. And um, again, just doesn't seem like something that I want to read. Maybe someone else will get better use out of it. Okay, I tried to read Stephen King. Um, your number is up the cell. And I got probably about 150 pages into it, and I thought that it was really, really interesting, but it just couldn't keep my interest peaked. Like, I just couldn't just stay into it. And so I DNF'd this book, basically. I, think, I don't DNF very often, but this one, I just, I couldn't get into it. It's too wordy, and I know that that's weird because it's a book and books are wordy, but there is something to be said for too much wordiness, and that's what this one was for me. Um, another book that I have is uh, Franny and Zoe by J.D. Salinger. Um, I don't know how I got this book or where it came from, but it was in, and I've never read it, and I don't really feel like reading it either. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, and I know I have another one, uh -huh. uh, Persuasion by Jane Austen, because I always feel like, Courtney, one of these days you're going to want to read a classic, and you will want to read Jane Austen, and I really want to be that fancy, and I really want to be that articulate, and I really want to be just that brilliant to want to read classics, but I'm not, and I don't, and I just, looking at these make me feel bad, because I'm not going to read them, and I'd rather someone get these books that will want to read them, that will have a passion for them, that I just don't read. Um, a book that I read for my graduate degree um, was Billy Budd by Herman Melville. It was, it was all right. Um, it was supposed to be a short book, like it was like 116 pages and it still took me forever to read. So um, it was okay, but I read it for school, so I don't really wanna keep it around. The next book that um, I have is High on Stress, A Woman's Guide to Optimizing the Stress in Her Life. So I believe my aunt got this for me when I was working 
two jobs going to school 15 hours a semester and then um, I was running my grandmother's shop and so she was like hey I think you're a little stressed here's how to deal with it um, I didn't even open it but I'm fine now and life's very very you know relaxing and stress-free for the most part so I think that just this, having this book on my shelf helped you know relieve my stress the next book that I am giving up is Carl Heisen's Flesh. Um, I think it's a children's book. I'm not quite sure. I bought it because of the cover because it was really, really bright and pretty. And I thought, hey, that looks fun, but never got around to reading it. I have Emma by Jane Austen. Um, this is the book that has sat on my shelf the longest. I actually bought an adaptation of Emma. It's a modern adaptation and it's on my um, TBR shelf. So I'm hoping that I can read that. And then if I want to read... Jane Austen's Emma later, I'm sure I can find a free um, Kindle version to read. So I just, it, I can't let it look at me in the face anymore. Um, 29 by Aiden um, Halpern. I actually read this at the beginning of this summer and reviewed it. It was a good book um, for the most part. I think I gave it like a two and a half or three on Goodreads, but it's not a book that I'm ever going to want to reread again. And I just, I want someone else to read it. The next one is Myths, Gods, and Fantasy. I actually uh, did D&D &D and um, role-playing for probably like years for every Saturday up until, I don't know, like two or three years ago. And I actually created my own um, book that sort of was like home of where we would um, go to gather all of our information for the different um, like events that we would go to or different uh, little episodes or scenes and so I got a lot of the information from here. Um, I don't do that anymore and I think that somebody else will get a kick out of this book. The next one is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I know this is a classic. No, I have not read it. I have tried to read it quite a few times but I've DNF'd it every time because I just feel like um, they're kind of douchebags in this and they are all about money and materialism and if I'm gonna read that I'll watch the news. So um, not a big fan of this book. Catch 22, it's a really good book uh, by um, Josephine Heller. Um, it's good, I'm just not gonna reread it. And I know that a lot of kids go to the used bookstore for books that they have to read for their class and I would rather them have um, a really good, almost brand new copy than one that's falling apart. And if I can help a kid with their assignment, then that's what I'm gonna do. Another one that was sent to me was Neil Gaiman, um, American Gods. I haven't read it. I've never read a Neil Gaiman book, but um, I don't know the thickness of this book. I just, not that I'm afraid of like thick books. It's just, it just didn't pique my interest and I didn't want to read it. The next one is Confessions, The Murder of an Angel by James Patterson and Maxine Pietro. Um, I'm not quite sure where I got this book. It might have been from my grandma, but... Um, I just, I can't get into James Patterson books, and so I thought that it was a really good hardback and that someone else would enjoy it. Now, I love Janet Ivanovich, and I actually have all of her books on e-reader, um, on Nook, I believe, and I just, I don't like having just like one author, like one of their books in physical form and then the rest in e. Like, I like to have an author in either physical form or ebook form, and I don't know how I got this one. Um, it's a really good book. I've read it and, um, I love it, but again, I have all of the rest of her books on e-books, so I prefer to read it that way. And then the last book that I have in this unhaul is Politics by Aristotle. I actually had this book for my freshman year in college. I wrote a whole entire, um, my very first freshman comp paper on Aristotle, and I did a PowerPoint for my, um, speech class. It for with Aristotle and this has all the notes that I've taken and highlighting I hope that they'll still take it in February 28th of 2009 I still have the receipt so that's how long it's been on my shelf and um, I haven't used it since my freshman year in college so so that ends this chapter of Court Tagonist. I hope that you enjoyed this unhaul. If you did, if you would like this video, or um, if you wanna see my face more often, I post every Wednesday and Friday. You can hit that subscribe button down below. And until next time, guys.
Happy reading. Bye.